Hi, my name is Audrey Schutz, and I'm discussing today troubleshooting unusual antimicrobial susceptibility test results. So we have a carbapenem resistant Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and the question is, what are its likely resistance mechanisms? Well, according to the CDC, only 2 to 3% of carbapenem-resistant Pseudomonas aeruginosa in the U.S. are carbapenemase producers. Mm -hmm. Up to 20% uh, in the rest of the world can be carbapenemase producers, but here in the U.S., we have a much lower percentage. The most frequent cause of carbapenem resistance in Pseudomonas aeruginosa is chromosomally mediated upregulation of efflux pumps or decreased expression of outer membrane porins, most uh, importantly, the OPRD. There are some other mechanisms that are less commonly known or um, seen, such as hyperproduction of AMC enzymes and mutations in penicillin binding protein targets. But importantly, these efflux pumps or the outer membrane porins, these are not mechanisms that we commonly assess in clinical laboratories that are very difficult to test for and are really only done at research laboratories. Now, carbapenemase detection may be performed at reference ARLN laboratories. Um, this is offered uh, free to U.S. laboratories at your local ARLN. Um, please send in what you are asked to send in as much of this data that we our gathering is dependent upon what the local labs are routinely submitting. And I do want to point out this um, wonderful ASM editors and conversation discussion that took place in 2022 concerning treatment of Pseudomonas aeruginosa infections. Uh, you can see here the uh, panelists who were discussing this on the lower right hand side. Uh, but this editors and conversation discussion also um, discussed a lot of uh, uh, resistance mechanisms as well. Sometimes we get asked the question about um, whether we should be looking for carbapenemase resistance in Pseudomonas aeruginosa um, for infection control purposes. And the answer to that would be yes, I think we should be for infection control purposes because these are transmissible um, uh, elements that can be transmitted uh, via plasmids from patient to patient. But a lot of these patients will already have multi-drug resistance for um, other drugs as well. And so many of these patients will already be on contact precautions just because of the multi-drug resistance that um, are, is accompanying the carbapenem resistance. 